Okay, so guys, in the last episode, um, let's see here. Uh, I tried to use my headset to improve the sound quality, but basically it didn't record any of the laptop audio, so it was just me talking, no other audio. Um, this time I improved the sound quality in my re recording thing, I cha I improved the sample, sample sound thing per second. It's like, uh... 44,000 or something like that, so hopefully the sound quality will be better than last time, or any other times, I don't know, I didn't check, but uh, whatever, this episode, we're gonna fight this hiker, and this is Criminal Pancake playing Pokemon Emerald, but that's quite obvious by now, so let's see, what do we got, Ninjari, wait, switch, last episode we did a lot of training, and this is the last guy on this route before going into that cave-like structure on the other side of the screen. So this is Lenny, who's going to be hypersped. Hmm. Steve. So sadly, now you can hear my spacebar tapping again, but whatever. It's not the worst thing ever, I don't think. At least it should be. Um, let's go for a secret power. And there we go. That matchup is good as gone. And if you heck Lenny, and he wants us to yodel with him, I say no. Let's go into this cave-like structure. Media Falls, Respo. Yep, you can go through Respiro City, but you can't go back. There's some items up there. I'm not gonna get them for the interest of inventory. And holy crap, it's freaking magma. <laughs> This meteorite, that thi that thing in Mount Chimney, well, what are you doing? Hey, I don't know where who you are, but if you get in the way of Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Magma, you're badly mistaken if you think you can have the, your way with the world. Hey, even Team Aqua joins us, but it's too much trouble to deal with you all. Hey, it doesn't matter. We've got the meteorite, so off to Mount Chimney we go. Yeah, be seeing you, Team Aqua dingbats. That was pretty thought out, well thought out thing. Didn't I see you before at Slateport's museum? Ah, oh, so your name is Crimp. At the time, I thought you were one of Team Magma's goons. You're a one-odd kid. Team Magma is a dangerous group of total fanatics. They, they engage in destruction, claiming to expand the landmass. They rivals to us, the sea-loving Team Aqua. Boss, we should give taste to Team Magma. Yes, yes, we must. We've got to hurry. There's nothing what Team Magma will do at the Mount Chimney. So, yep. If you remember correctly, this is the place we were getting blocked from, thanks to those Team Magma guys. I I'm Cosmo, I'm a professor. Team Magma asked me to guide them to Meteor Falls, but they tricked me, they even took my meteor right away. Another similar bunch of Team Aqua showed up, after that I don't understand any of it. That Team Magma, what are they going to do with that meteorite in Mount Chimney? So yeah, he gives you the further hint, hey, he's stupid, go to, go to Mount Chimney. You derp. So yeah. So now we have to go all the way back, with hyperspeed. Ah, crap. Uh, low Lotad. GTFO. Okay, we're back all the way here. Let's heal up real quick. Okay. So now we have to go all the way back through this route. All over again. With Mr. Chugga Connery over there. Super Repel. Just got ten of those last time. Just listen to this music for a second. In super hyperspeed. Okay, I just I just wanted to do that once. Sorry. Just just had to. It was an instinct to just go hyperspeed version. 2.03 or something like that. Painter tips, you may sure I'm doing that right now, you derp. I got that. I got that too, so let's just go through here. Taking all the shortcuts back. Didn't even need to heal. So let's rest up. It's completely pointless. So are those raspberries up there. Mr. Sandstorm. That I'm not going to encounter. Okay. Pals effect wore off. Let's just reapply that real quick so we can get through this cave without getting 
owned by everything except for Torkoal, except it would probably be all Torkoals because of luck and stuff. So there we go, we got through the cave, and now we're here, and this is open now. So we can now go on this cable car to the top of Mount Chimney. Yes, I would love to go on it. Freaking cable cars. And sometimes, for no apparent reason, hikers will be like, be on that mountain. Like, you just randomly see one, like, trucking down the mountain. It, it, it's completely random. It doesn't really mean anything, as far as I know. So, yeah. Just thought that'd be an interesting bit of trivia. Trivial information. I didn't get my freaking timer. Gosh darn it. So, these guys are blocking the way again. So, now we got a bunch of freaking people up here. Three on one. Not possible in this gen. Sorry, bro. You're cheating. You're using hacks. <laughs> Let's just switch to get it all evened out so we can tell what I need to do. Well, geez, like this. Actually, I'm gonna save. So I have to go through those cutscenes again. And here we go. We have Team Magmar working hard for everyone's sake. Like, if that thing's power made more land, there'd be more places to live. Everyone would be happy. Yeah, except for water types. No more land, I'd be able to get a, a big house of my own. I'm going to build on hard lava. One, I highly doubt a single person like you could build a house, even with the help of your Pokemon that probably are like Zubats and stuff. Yes. Or well, Numel, whatever. It might help a little bit, but you're not going to build an entire freaking house. And... Two, this thing erupting would not help at all, because it's like in the mainland. It's it's totally inland. It wouldn't get out to sea. Like, what am I doing, dude? Rock tomb this guy, and just go for a mock punch. Take out that Numel, and take out that Zubat. And it's really freaking easy, because these guys are a bit underleveled. <laughs> yeah, the big house is gone, because it never existed. I feel like you get to be splashing about in the waves. You make everyone happy, but why does everyone keep getting in our way? Because your boss is a stupid person with a weird voice that I haven't been able to use yet, but now I'll be able to use the Maxi from Team Magma voice. With a bit of Professor Birch in there, too. And Mr. Wrong Name Person. Probably got picked on in school a lot, but whatever. Let's take him out real quick with the Mudshot Powers. Oh wait, I can just switch to Swagsaur. Yes. Forgot that they all need to level up again. Poochiana. Let's pull out the old Mach Punch, do some super effective damage. Don't even know what that was. was Numel, Mach Punch again. You see, these guys are a bit underleveled. Two levels above them, and we're still just clearing house over here. Zubat. I'm not going to be able to do Jack Bananas at this thing. So let's go and switch to Tor Crash. Freaking wing attacks and stuff. And you just used Supersonic and made me hit myself because I'm a derp. Dude, you don't need to crash yourself into the ground. You already crashed my emulator. Thank you. And we defeated the admin. Watch out, guys. He might ban us. Good thing we're not grieving his server. Yeah. Let's just super potioned it up over here. And mod minus an item. Two for one. Special to go into this menu. And take that item. Get a potion. For some quick, clean, cheap heals that barely do crap. Sounds good to me. Okay, here we go, guys. Are you ready for Team Maxi and Team Magma? Oh, whatever. The power contained in the meteorite. By amplifying its powers with this machine, Mount Chimney's vol volcanic activity will instantly intensify. Its energy will grow deep inside the crater and... <laughs> Maxi from Team Magma. Who are you? I heard Archie be boning a child who's been meddling in Team Aqua's affairs. It must be you he meant. So you're thinking of interfering with us, Team Magma. Maxi from Team Magma. Now you'll listen. Long ago... Long ago, 11 things used to... Live in this land and live and grow. That's why it's all important. This is the cradle of all. That's why Team Magma is dedicated to the expansion of landmass. For further advancement of humankind and Pokemon. And for that, we need the power of what sleeps within this mountain. 
Ah, oh, there's no need for you to learn that much. But no matter, I'll teach you the consequences of meddling in these in our grand design. You would have been British that at the end for the grand design, but that fits in freaking music of turn upness. Yeah. I'm gonna be quiet because this is just pretty cool music. Oh, I would have killed him there. I was going to go until I killed the mine in, but without that super potion, he would have been dead. So I'm going to start talking again. So yeah, this awesome freaking music is awesome. Not as epic as the last music I played, but whatever. It's still pretty odd. Freaking sand attack. Doing his job. And you're using bite on a fighting type Pokemon. Well done. You're officially really stupid. <sighs> okay. Mm-hmm. I hope I'm not drowning my voice in the music, but whatever. Uh, let's go for Mach Punch. Swag Sore. Yeah. It doesn't look like much of a dinosaur from behind, but whatever. It looks it from the front. Freaking 26, son. Uh, camera up. Yes, let's switch to Tor Crash over here. At least I'm not desynced. And then watch me totally jinx myself by saying that because now I'm going to be desynced in just this video now. Freaking Magnitude 7 doing his job. And Parahax for the win. And yeah, Parahax helping me out. And his camera up to Hax is gone because you can't get a camera up to level 33. And dude, you don't even have a Grobat. Crobat. Golbat. You have to have two more levels on it, though, so I guess... Whatever. Hope he doesn't kill me with this wing attack. He shouldn't. Yeah. Freaking defense out the roof. Not too bad attack stats, either. Okay. Let's just go for a super potion. I'm actually gonna switch to Ninjari here. So he can take out a Zubat. No problem, I don't think. His secret power and all. So yeah, Ninjari, freaking wing attacks. Ah, please don't kill Ninjari. Take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. Yeah, critical hit. Probably would have been screwed without that critical hit, but yeah. Hmm. What? I Maxi was cut off guard. Yes, yes, you were. Maxi from Team Magma. But enough. I'll be back off this time. But don't think this is the last you've seen of Team Magma. <laughs> Even without that meteorite, if we obtain the orb. <laughs> so, yeah. And Archie from Team Aqua. Crimpin, thank you. With your help, we've thwarted Team Magma's destructive plan. But you, whose side are you on? Ah, it doesn't matter. We'll remain vigilant and keep up our pursuit of Team Magma. Crimpin, we shall meet again. That we definitely, totally, absolutely will. So yeah, we totally will. Mm -hmm. And now that they have cleared out of here, our repels ward off, which is really cool. But anyways, the real thing that happened here is we leveled up Swag Sword. No, the real actual thing that actually really happened, absolutely for sure, is we got a super potion. No. Didn't get a super potion at all, actually, so that's an outright lie, all the way, 69, yes. What really, really actually happened is these guys moved out of the way, and this lady came here, and she's like, Yo, dog, you want some lava cookies? Uh, hell yeah. Give me some full heals for 200 Poké Dollars. I'm just gonna buy ass load of these. Real quick, because real freaking helpful. And the power of speed lets you just basically buy them in bulk. How many was that? 
That was seven. Whoops. There we go. I'm actually gonna get some more of those. I'm gonna cut it until I have a bunch more. Okay, so we're back. I got ten more. Uh, that'll be fine for now, I think. So now we can go down here. And this is a really cool place where we can use our bike to use some awesome hacks of bunny hopping to go down here and go back up, as you can see right there. So that's really cool. You can actually find a spunk in this area. I'm actually going to go look if those are any good after I fight this guy. Because I've I always kind of wanted you kind of wanted to use a spunk. I don't know if it's any good, though. So I'm actually going to go look and see what his stats are like and see if it's really any good. But that's after this battle, when I have to switch to Pro Crash for just experience, because now I realize he's not going to be able to do Jack Blanabas either. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I think I want to give the emulator a rest there, because that is like freaking me out how crazy it was going. Just tackle it for massive fail. Once more time with feeling. Critical hit for the win. For the win. Yeah, that, that makes sense. And XP trash. And now we can switch over back to good old Ninja over here, because Boltoy will be weak to Fury Cutter. And Thief, but that doesn't matter. In the slightest, because we can just rack up freaking combos or some crap. Oh, snap, it knows Rock Tomb. Good thing I really don't care, because my speed rises. And didn't really do Jack Blanabas. Because you're more of a special than a physical. Okay, so I'm going to cut here and see if Spoink is any good. It's like a psychic type. So, hold on for a second. So I'm back, I looked up Spoink's, um, thing, and it's, yes, you can see the stats aren't great, but when it evolves, it does get a whole lot better, it turns into, like, a special wall of sorts, and it doesn't have bad special attack either, so I, I think I am gonna go with it, it really excites me, because I really want to use it, it's pretty cool. So there's my, up there's my uploading video, no freaking game audio, that's right. Okay. So, since we can actually use it, because it's not fail, I'm going to. Our sweet bike cars. Just look around for Red or Brett. Come on, Spoink, dude. No, not a normal. I'm just going to use speed hacks here to find it. No. I think I'm going to cut until I find it, because it might be like a shroom mission be freaking impossible to find. Okay, I found a Spoink. Ah, uh, you can tell what his name is. Spring Oink, because it's like a pig. Her, <laughs> her, get it? Okay. I'm gonna go for a... I don't know if I use Thief. I'm gonna try it. Because it's special, but it's also super effective. But it's also a special wall, so I think I'll be good. Hope it's got some sort of psychic type move. Yeah, it's got Sky Wave. Nice. And you just killed Ninjari. So I think it's time to catch you, dog. Tor crash. Okay, so now we're gonna have a special and physical wall. Um. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna switch over to Swag Sword so I can para para hacks the face out of it, which makes no sense. But whatever. Yeah, don't use Side Wave. I para hacks you first. There we go. Now we can just massive copy to stat changes. Well, I didn't do any sorts of things. So let's just switch over and hope a great ball works. It's magic. You're a new member of our team. Yeah, buddy, we caught ourselves a spoink. Freaking awesome. So guys, uh, I think I'm going to end the episode here after we read his description and stuff. Pokemon that... A Pokemon that manipulates psychic power at will. It doesn't stop bouncing even when it is asleep. It loves eating mushrooms that grow underground. That might mean some trouble for Swagsaur. But whatever. Oh, God. 
Boy. I have a nickname after a stretch. And it's got a backstory, so it's all good. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you might have been able to tell from its little picture there. It has a pearl on top of its head. And uh, I'm pushing all the wrong buttons. I think I'm spelling weirdo wrong. Hold on. I'm gonna spell it all out first to see if I did it right. Yes, I spelled it right. Weirdo. That's gonna be his name for now. Until he evolves. But the thing is, is I used to have Pokemon Pearl version. It was like crazy stuff. It's my first Generation 4 Pokemon game. And I named my dude Weirdo for no reason. So I'm like, yeah, dog. Best name ever. <laughs> and let's go to our bag. Let's potion up good old Weirdo over here. And then. Oh, I did I have Paralyzed Heal. That's right, that's one I stocked up on, you derp. So, Ninjari is kind of down for the count or whatever. Got to get to the next town, but we do have this guy to train anyways, so whatever. He's not missing anything. So yeah, let's go. What are you doing here? What am I doing in a place like this? What business is it of yours? And he battles us. So yeah, I think you have to battle this guy later on anyways. So yeah, I'm just gonna take out his Poochiana. Side wave? Side beam. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna freaking look at his stats and all his junk. Summary. Side wave. Uh, just a second wave of varying intensity. Okay, that's not the greatest thing ever. Peculiar ray that may confuse the foe. It has psych up. How is it his effects? And gives to the user. So yeah, he's got Psy He's not going to be able to do anything to this Poochiana because his only attacks are Psychic. But we can still switch over to Tor Crash and take some stuff down. I said I was going to end the episode. I'm going to end it after I kill this guy. And he's only got two Pokemon, so should be good. Numel. We can switch to Weirdo for that one. Hmm. Hmm. I like that cry of his. And he dances just like Ludicolo. Aw, oh, how freaking awesome. Yeah, I got confused on his first freaking Psybeam. Of course, we got burned, but whatever. I'm gonna use Attack. Psy wave. Look at that experience bar, just jump into the halfway point. Hideout. Snaps on. So he just kind of turns away. Uh, you're strong, don't worry about me, go wherever you want. Yeah, whatever. So we're gonna hide in this corner over here. We're gonna save the game. This has been Criminal Pancake. We've been playing Pokemon Emerald, but that was quite obvious by now. And, uh, the next episode, I'm going to get my freaking timer. See ya.